Hello, my name is Bianca Jody. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to a day in my life. This was Monday, November 13th. So the first thing I do in the mornings is I get up and wash my face and then I make coffee and a bagel with blueberries usually on the side and I sit down and listen to Lectio 365 while I'm eating that and also making the food. And then I start my Bible reading. So I'm currently in Matthew. I also love Bible journaling. And so this was the one I did today, Matthew 5, 9. And then I also will write out a prayer usually. Sometimes I use the common book of prayer as well. And I try to read Mere Christianity at least a chapter, sometimes two if I can fit it in. And then I love turning on worship music and stretching. This is honestly one of my favorite parts of the morning is just to get moving. And I feel especially blessed to have this opportunity after breaking my leg. I really, really missed stretching and just movement in general. So here you see me practicing um, my splits in just a moment. <laughs> Around 8.20, I will start getting ready. I have 9 a.m.s every day, so this is pretty standard. I will do my makeup and pick out the clothes I'm going to wear today, which I'm wearing my favorite orange pants ever with just a black t-shirt and a cardigan. And then I make my bed. I'm going to be super honest. I only started doing this a few weeks ago, but I'm loving this part of my routine because it always makes me feel so much better about coming back to my room, so I hope to keep doing it. Um, and then I will pack my bag for the day. I have four classes today, so it's quite busy. Also, my friend gave me this calendar, and I love it. Usually, I will brush my teeth right before I leave for class, um, and then I will get going because my classes start at 9, and we have to walk up Hutch Hill, which usually takes me a little bit. On the plus side, this is absolutely the prettiest view ever. So at 9 a.m., I have ministry to families in Walker, and then at 9.50, that ends, and I head over to the cathedral where I have Spanish from 10 to 10.50. I've really been loving my Spanish class. Then from 11 to 12.15, I have senior seminar. Today, we were talking about grad school, and then I forgot to film lunch, um, but I usually eat lunch between 12.15 and 12.45. And then we went to critical concerns for adolescents from 1 to 3.50. Today I had to work as well, so I got my car and did it's that. It's 6 p.m. I just got off work. I don't usually work Mondays, um, but I ended up picking up this shift because I'll be gone for a little over a week on Thanksgiving break. So she asked me, my boss was like, hey, would you want to come in for a few hours today just to get a little more in your paycheck? So I worked about two and a half hours and now I'm going to head to dinner. I also somehow forgot to film dinner. So I ate dinner from 6.15 to 6.35 and then I came back to my room and here I'm practicing my Spanish presentation, which I had to give on Wednesday and it went really well. It's about my family, so easy to talk about. <laughs> then I moved on to some more Spanish homework and then into my cultural anthropology readings. I had quite a few because we had a large paper coming up on Thursday um, about our ethnography project. So I wanted to make sure I had all the readings and I was also pulling some quotes. We were reading about medical anthropology and we actually had two chapters. The other one was how to apply anthropology in your day-to-day -day life, even if you aren't an anthropologist. So I really liked this reading. On that little note card, I wrote out some questions. I had a meeting tomorrow um, with a professor who studied abroad where I'm hoping to. And so I had to ask him some questions and he was super helpful. Here I'm reading out of a different book, but also for cultural anthropology. And it's talking about similar things, but I love this book. It's Conformity and Conflict. And it's really amazing because it's practical ethnographies. It's real examples of what we read theoretically in the previous books. So it is a fabulous combination and I am very, very grateful for this class. I've honestly loved cultural anthropology so much. Here, this larger book, I'm switching over to Judaism. It's already time for our final paper for Judaism. So I started my primary research in the book that we've been reading and picked topics from, which is the Norton Anthology, which is also another really, really great resource. I ended up taking about a 15 minute break to make hot chocolate, which I love any hot drink. And then my friends Tanner, Lydia, and Sophia were out in the suite. So I said hi to them and hung out with them for just a few minutes. After that, I came back into my room and kept doing 
um, some research for Judaism. I was pulling some quotes here so that way I could use direct quotes in my paper. We have to use the Norton Anthology because it's our primary textbook, but as you will see later, I also was doing some research of my own looking for um, other resources. I am doing my paper about Sabbatite Zevi. I don't think I'm saying that right, but he was basically the, um, he was thought to be the Jewish Messiah and then he converted to Islam in like the 1600s. And then I also ended up watching a video about him just to get a general idea of what I was learning about. And then it hit um, about 9.50 and I try to stop homework by around 10. So I came to a good stopping point and decided to go shower and this has been such a wonderful day. I got into bed and read a chapter of my book and that was my day. So thank you for coming along with me. Bye.